Welcome. This is the 26th in my series of climate mythbusters, and the myth I'm going to bust today was that the medieval warm period was warmer than today. Let's first deal with the myth conception itself, and you'll find lots of articles scattered around the internet and in newspapers saying how much warmer the medieval warm period is than today. But Don Easterbrook takes the biscuit on this one when he writes, the medieval warm period was a time of warm climate from about 900 to 1300 AD when global temperatures were somewhat warmer than at present. The Vikings took advantage of this climate amelioration to colonize Greenland. By the way, it's almost compulsory to mention the Vikings in this discussion. And wine grapes were grown as far north as England where growing grapes is now not feasible and about 500 kilometers north of the present vineyards in France and Germany. By the way, none of that's true. Similar things are said in the Telegraph, of course, and in the anti-global warming CO2 science uh, blog, uh, which basically says there was several hundred year period where the first part of the last millennium that was significantly warmer than it is currently. Of course, you're going to see a lot of pictures like these. One of the old favorites is this one, which is a measure of the temperature at the peak of the Greenland ice sheet. Uh, and so it's hardly representative of a global climate. Then you get some confusing ones with so many annotations on it that it must be true. But if you blow up a section of this and just look at see what it says on there, you'll see that most of it isn't true. Here is that section blown up. And you can see that 2005 point is in the wrong place. The, uh, the red dot is where it should be. The 2009 point is also in the wrong place. I've put a red dot for that. And then it says uh, 2019 will be much colder, but uh, as far as I can see, it's going to be up around where 2016 was, which is up there at the top of this plot. So this is the sort of nonsense that you have to deal with. Then there's some sciencey looking ones, and we're going to deal with this one in more detail later. There are even some that are claimed to be from the IPCC, and this plot did appear in the 1990 IPCC report but it's not a plot of data, it's a conceptual diagram. And oh yes, don't forget the Vikings, you'll often see pictures of ruined churches and things of that sort in, in Greenland. Next we'll go to the uh, so-called Lundquist deception. This is the plot that was created by Lundquist in 2010. And it's often used to prove that the medieval warm period is warmer than today. They draw a line across saying this is now and show that the medieval warm period and the Roman warm period were actually warmer than the current temperature. There's a few problems with this. If you look at the error bars on the Roman warm period, you can see that they include today's temperature. So all you can say there is that today's temperatures are consistent with those of the Roman warm period. If you do the same thing with the medieval warm period, yes, the uh, Current temperatures are on the low side of that, but they still are encompassed within the error bars shown. So you could say that it, the medieval warm period was possibly warmer than today's, but not necessarily so. But you must remember here, this is the Northern Hemisphere only. It's not even all of the Northern Hemisphere. And the most important part here is says it's adapted from Lundquist 2010. What does that mean? Well, let me show you. So what I did here was to go to the actual Lundquist paper and make a copy of his figure three and drop it into my video here. Now you can immediately see what is uh, changed here. These dotted lines have been removed in the so-called adaption. So adapted from seems to mean data removed. And the reason for that is obviously that the modern temperatures are way above the medieval warm period. So if you put the now line in here, you can see that it is indeed the case. But now here is 1999, not the present day. If we put in the present day temperatures, that's way up there. So there's clearly, even within the error bars associated with all of these, there is no comparison between today's temperature and the medieval warm period or the Roman warm period. Let's try to sort out fact from fiction. How does the story of the Romans and medieval Britain match up with this idea that grapes were not grown. The Romans certainly brought wine to England. They loved wine. 
and there have been various decrees of emperors allowing vineyards to be uh, constructed in Gaul, Germany and Britain, but there's no evidence that they ever were, at least in Britain. There's been no archaeological evidence of wine presses or any vineyard specific tools been found in the UK. There is, however, a large amount of beer making equipment that's been found. So it seems that the locals and the Romans drank a lot of beer, not a lot of wine, because that had to be imported. The Doomsday Book, which if I remember correctly is 1089, uh, does record 46 vineyards, but mainly in southern England. Today, there are over 400 vineyards in England, and there's three as far north as Scotland. First of all, it says that Easter Book is wrong, that in fact wine is being produced across the UK now, where it wasn't before, and that there are a lot more vineyards in the UK than there ever have been before, which indicates that the current temperature is more conducive to grape growing than it was over the last several thousand years. So let's see if we can draw some conclusions from all of this. First, claims that the Roman warm period and the medieval warm period were warmer than today have no scientific basis whatsoever. The graphs shown to support this idea are phony or wildly misinterpreted. The current data indicate that we are already at least 0.5 degrees centigrade warmer than the medieval warm period and about 0.6 degrees warmer than the Roman warm period. There are more vineyards in the UK now than there ever have been before, indicating the climate is indeed warmer. And not to forget the Vikings, the next climate myth is going to be about them. So if you see somebody posting stuff about the medieval warm period being much warmer than today, please post a link to this video, tell them they're full of nonsense. And so until next time, goodbye.